Good morning. I'm going to read for you, after this intro, uh, another poem by Stefan Georga, also from Algebel. This one is called Vogelschau. Um, his friend and collaborator Ernst Morwitz translates Vogelschau as augury. Um, I look up my Kessel's German dictionary and it says that Vogelschau means bird's eye view. So I suppose the impression we get is of something seen from a distance. And I suppose augury comes from the Roman practice of foretelling the future from the flight of birds. I presume that's where Ernst Morwitz got it from. Anyway, I've, uh, I've done this poem, I've translated or transposed this poem in my usual way, not by trying to stick to the German. Um, I'm not, certainly no expert in German, hardly even a beginner, but uh, with a little help from various books and the net, I managed to piece my way through it. As I've said before, in translating or transposing, I'm not in the least bit interested in giving what would be called an exact translation. I really can't be bothered with that. Um, if people can read the original, then that's about the nearest they get to the actual experience which the poet wanted to put across. If not, we have to rely on bits and pieces. If we can't speak German, we have to get through, get through to the meaning in whatever way we can. <coughs> and I do it not by trying to say exactly what the poet meant. Who knows, the poet himself probably didn't have a, an exact idea of what he wanted to do anyway, because poetry is more a matter of feelings, moods, inclinations. So I dare say when dear old Stefan sat down to write Vogelschau, he had all sorts of uh, interesting things going on in his mind, any number of which can come through in translation or not. Even if one is a native German speaker, a native German speaker of today, I very much doubt whether you'd find more than a handful of people who would agree on the meaning of the poem given that uh, people in Germany actually read uh, Stefan Georg these days. Whether they do or not, I, I really don't know. But it's the same in English poetry. You could, uh, you could recite an English poem to a group of English people and ask them what it meant, and you'd obviously get as many meanings as you did people. Our own dear Robert Browning tried to bring this out in his uh, long poem The Ring and the Book in which he presents the same action viewed by several different people who all come up with different interpretations. Anyway, so that's my introduction. I've uh, made an English poem of the uh, of the German as best I can, and I hope it's uh, entertaining. Thank you for listening. Entranced, I saw white swallows darting, flashing snow and silver white. Flickering in the wind I saw them 
Coveting in the wind and light. Jay wings shimmer in the treetops, Parrots sparkle, hummingbirds shine, Through that mysterious jangled far land, Tusfury woods of palm and pine. Huge winged ravens I saw fluttering, Jackdaws flapping funereally dark, Fighting over twisting vipers In the bracken in the twilit park. Now again I see the swallows darting, Afresh I see them, snow and silver white, Flashing, flickering, mating in that huge sky, Harbingers and minions of the light.